Hey everyone, welcome back to another part of my Yukata series. For today we're going to do a, a Heiko or Yusebi. Heiko, I've got mine here. I just um, unlined, very floppy, I mean it's just one length piece of fabric. There's no uh, back part, there is no, um, yeah, like I said, there's no lying in, in it. It's just one floppy piece of fabric that's called an obi. Heiko obi are really commonly used for for children because they often are not capable of standing still as long to tie an elaborate kind of obi knot. So Heiko obi are much more preferred for kinder, for children. Though for adults they are quite commonly used as well, especially during uh, summer season for yukata. Hence why I got one. Hence why we'll be doing a obi tutorial for you today. It's a very easy knot. It resembles like yeah, like a regular bow, pretty much. Like you would um, tie your shoelaces. It's easy. It's fun. It doesn't take a lot of time. I bet you can do it <laughs> if you have a little bit of practice in under 30 seconds. So, I'll be showing you that today. Get your OB, uh, hair core OB done. Put it on your kata and let's go. Alright, so I have my OB. Now, you first I want to find the two ends because we need the middle, exact middle of the OB. Right. So you want to find that, and let's get it that it will be quite wide, as you can see, you might want to fold it. doesn't need, need to be exact, of, yeah, same, same width. Then you put the middle parts right in the middle, and then you want to kind of bring one side to the front, just putting it here for now, and then tying the other side because you need two equal lengths of fabric on either side. Yeah, that's about that. And then just tie it. And again, looking at her feet, is it still the same? Yeah. And then, like I said, tying like a shoelace, like a regular bow. And then really pull them out. And that's almost it. It's not easy. Just fluff them out. Like I will leave the tails hanging. And that's it. That's all. Hikobi, they can be tied in numerous ways because they are so floppy basically. Then I was always turning around. Now this is what may happen. But what you do is just pull the fabrics down until you gain the right width. As I'm quite tall, I prefer mine to be a little bit wider than usual. Hikobi are perfect for that. And that's it. There's no more. It's that I have to do it quite slow today, otherwise I tie it in at least under 30 seconds. Okay. So if you want me to do more hair core beauty tutorials, tutorials, then let me know. So for now, I'll catch you guys later, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.